God knows where you need to be, and more importantly, He knows how to get you there. But you may be in a place where it seems like instead of moving forward, you are moving backward in your life. You had so many plans about what you wanted to do, and for some reason, instead of moving closer to them, you seem to be moving further and further away. Even though that is the case, remember that it is God who directs our steps. He knows what He is doing, and even though you don't seem to be making any progress in your life, know that He will get you to where you need to go. So, trust in His leading. I love what it says in the book of Psalms. The Lord directs the steps of the godly. He delights in every detail of their lives. Though they stumble, they will never fail, for the Lord holds them by hand. Psalm chapter 37, verse 23. Don't be discouraged if you don't seem to be anywhere close to where you need to be. In the Bible, we read of Joseph who had such an experience. God had given him an idea of what he had in store for him through a few dreams. But instead of getting support from his family, especially his brothers, all he got was ridicule. His brothers got jealous and decided to do something about it. They were tired of hearing the dreams that Joseph had and decided to kill him. But they changed their minds thanks to Reuben and decided to sell him as a slave instead, and that is what I want to focus on. Meantime, the Midianite traders arrived in Egypt, where they sold Joseph to Potiphar, an officer of Pharaoh, the king of Egypt. Potiphar was captain of the palace guard. Genesis chapter 37 verse 36 Joseph was meant to be second in charge in Egypt. He was going to save over half the world from a famine. That is what God had in store for him, but the pathway to that wasn't as straightforward to say the least. First, he nearly lost his life. Then he was thrown into a pit as his brothers decided his fate and then finally sold him as a slave. He arrived at the place where he was supposed to fulfill his purpose as a slave. It's not exaggerating to say that things were not going according to Joseph's plan. Instead of moving forward in what God had called him to do, it seemed like he was taking a thousand steps back. Instead of rising in what he was called to do, he dropped to the bottom of the rung. Instead of arriving in Egypt as a deliverer, he arrived as a slave. No one was going to listen to a slave. A slave didn't have any authority. A slave wasn't influential. Joseph had every reason to think God had abandoned him. But look at what the word says. When Joseph was taken to Egypt by the Ishmaelite traders, he was purchased by Potiphar, an Egyptian officer. Potiphar was captain of the guard for Pharaoh, the king of Egypt. The Lord was with Joseph, so he succeeded in everything he did as he served in the home of his Egyptian master. Genesis chapter 39 verses 1 to 2. God was with Joseph in Egypt. He was directing his every step even though it didn't seem like it. And even in the situation he was in, God was able to get him to where he needed to go. He didn't leave Joseph alone in a foreign land, but got him promoted by Pharaoh. By helping him interpret his dreams, Joseph could never on his own orchestrate how things happened to get him promoted. It was God that got him there. God is the only one who can and will get you where you need to be. Don't panic when you find yourself in the weeds, so to speak. God knows where you are right now, and he will direct you to where he planned you to be. Keep trusting him to lead you no matter where you are right now. It may seem like you are going in the opposite direction of where you need to be going, but don't panic. God is in total control of your life. He is with you and will get you there. Let's pray. Dear Heavenly Father, 
Thank you for directing my steps, Lord. You know how to get us where we need to go. So even when we seem to be going the opposite direction of where we need to be going, we trust in you as you direct us. We know that you would never lead us to destruction. You would never lead us to a dead end and leave us there. You want us to trust you as you guide us, and that is what we will do. We will trust you to lead us and guide us to where we need to go. Your word says, I will lead blind Israel down a new path, guiding them along an unfamiliar way. I will brighten the darkness before them and smooth out the road ahead of them. Yes, I will indeed do these things. I will not forsake them. Isaiah chapter 42 verse 16 We will not fear and lose hope when we are not in the right place. When we seem to be going in the wrong direction, we hold on to the truth that you are in total control of our lives. When we don't see what you are doing and we are discouraged, we will call on you for help. We will not try to take matters into our own hands and try to direct ourselves. And please forgive us for doing that in the beginning. We see now that there is not a time you don't know where we are going. You are good and you will always get us to where we need to go. And we are so grateful for that. Your word reminds us in Proverbs chapter 16, verse 9, that in their hearts humans plan their course, but the Lord establishes their steps. We confess that while we may have our own plans and aspirations, we trust that your plans are far greater and more perfect than our own. Help us to surrender our agendas and fully embrace the direction you are leading us. Just as Joseph's journey to his destiny was fraught with trials and unexpected detours, we too may find ourselves facing challenges that seem to lead us away from our dreams. Yet, we are encouraged by the example of Joseph, who despite being sold into slavery and facing false accusations, remained faithful and trusted in your purpose. As Genesis chapter 39 verse 21 tells us, The Lord was with Joseph and showed him kindness and granted him favor in the eyes of the prison warden. Even in our lowest points, remind us that your presence is with us, working behind the scenes to bring about your good and perfect will. We pray for the courage to follow your lead, even when it takes us out of our comfort zones. As Joshua 1 verse 9 commands, Have I not commanded you? Be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid. Do not be discouraged, for the Lord your God will be with you wherever you go. Let us move forward with boldness knowing that your presence will guide us and uphold us every step of the way. Thank you, Lord, for being our shepherd and for guiding us through every season of our lives. We place our trust in your unchanging love and wisdom, confident that you will lead us to where we need to be. In the precious name of Jesus, we pray. Amen.